It was a glass door. It was glass in here. <laughs> now it's just a frame. Yeah, it's just a frame. It's been two and a half months since Barbara Zator had a front door. The wind really got us bad. Her home in Homa was hit hard by Hurricane Ida. She's now living at her church. I, I thank God for that every day. And so are other church members, all sleeping on bunk beds. We're blessed with an area for everyone to sleep. We do have uh, laundry and kitchen. What she needs, though, is temporary housing. That's why she constantly goes to the Civic Center in Homa. Six times I've been here. Checking on when she'll be able to get a trailer. So far, no luck. They're just saying they have to do the paperwork. It's always about paperwork, uh, red tape and paperwork, I guess. So I would imagine it's slow. The Civic Center is a staging area for the region. Terrebonne Parish leaders say so far 308 trailers have made it to private property. Of those, 186 have occupants. In Terrebonne Parish, there are almost 3,000 households in need of temporary housing. Okay, Tina, I'm coming. That number does not include Diana Plaisance, who lives in Lafouche Parish. Her home and cutoff was destroyed. My bedroom was blown in, and uh, I'm lucky to be alive. I was in the trailer when it happened. She was living in her car with her dog, Teeny until a church gave her a place to stay. She's been meeting with FEMA, trying to get a trailer on her property. They told me maybe in December I'll be getting one. Plaisance says it's been a tough journey, especially when she looks at all the trailers within arm's reach. It's hard because, you know, I know one of them's mine, and I love to have it right now. Terrebonne Parish leaders would like the process to move faster, but say because of things like federal requirements and zoning, it isn't. Meanwhile, the need for housing continues. It's heart-wrenching. It is. It's heart-wrenching. Uh, I need help. I Leaving need people rebuild. like Zator with no place to call home. We're all people, and we all deserve a place to live. We all deserve to have shelter.